Hi, my name is Tirza, and today we're going to talk about overcoming our fears and finding confidence in ourselves, and just different steps that we can take because fear is such a crippling idea and I know for myself that I've spent a lot of time not doing the things that I really wanted to do out of fear. The first thing is to identify and accept the fear. So for example, for myself, one thing that I had always been very afraid of was big bodies of water or swimming because I could never go underwater without plugging my nose, which seems silly, but it went on for years. And it wasn't until last year that I was actually able to overcome this fear, but it took a lot of work and it wasn't easy. And there was a lot of reasons why I had that fear and experiences that kind of had reinforced that fear. And so sometimes that also plays a factor in why we even have these fears to begin with. Sometimes these fears are not rational and sometimes they are rational, but accepting that the fear is there is the first step in trying to take steps to overcome it. So the next thing is to try to understand why are we afraid of this? What are the risks? What are the reasons why we've developed this fear? Maybe it's just irrational and it's something that just created in our own mind or like I was saying before, maybe there's reasons that we've developed this fear and these maybe even insecurities about um, trying to do these things, whether it's making friends or trying a new activity. So once we identify the why, the next step is to try to attack the fear, to try to break some of the stronghold that this fear has on us and try to kind of take all these excuses or these reasons why we uh, don't want to do this thing and to basically just blow them out of the water. So this could be like for my situation, I had to just tell myself, you know, I know how to hold my breath. I can hold my breath outside of water. You know, I had to facilitate ways that I could um, hold my breath and still be safe, you know, by standing in the pool. So I knew I was in an area where I could stand and I was safe and I wasn't in any danger. So the next thing is to remind yourself that you can take just small steps. You don't have to learn all of this right in one go the first time you tried to do something. Um, so for me, like it took a couple times of being in the pool and being in the water and kind of the next stage of this fear of mine was going out in the ocean. And so it was really hard for me to want to paddle out past the waves or uh, try to do some of these activities in the water because I was just so afraid of the ocean. It wasn't really any particular reason why, but I uh, was just afraid mostly because I couldn't hold my breath without having my hand on my nose. And you know, some of that's a real fear of getting water up my nose or not being able to hold my breath. Um, but I had to take small, manageable steps to actually try to achieve this goal because what it does is it gives your uh, mind success and once you have success then your mind can start taking more steps and realizing okay maybe this fear isn't really something that I need to worry about. So one thing that is much easier said than done but it has to be done if you want to overcome a fear is to give yourself permission to take the leap. You have to uh, just try to go for it at some point. And some of this might be telling yourself that these fears might be true and accepting that there really could be maybe some danger or some risk involved. And sometimes that's what we're really afraid of is that something might go wrong or uh, it might not turn out the way that we had hoped it would. And uh, tackling that disappointment head on is really important because it takes some of the power out of the worry that is really there it could be really true but we have to accept that it's there and accepting it actually gives us permission like to feel that fear and to understand like okay you know this is this is a big deal but i'm gonna do it anyways so something that can help motivate you or inspire you is to find your motivation or your inspiration for why you want to overcome this fear again with my example of learning how to plug my nose and going in water and going in deep water and the ocean, I really wanted to learn how to surf and to be out in the water with my husband. My husband's been surfing for 10 years, he's quite good at it, and I really wanted to be able to enjoy this activity with him. But because I was so crippled by this fear, I couldn't actually 
uh, go through the process of trying to enjoy and trying to learn how to do this thing. So all of these things being said, the next thing I wanted to say is uh, to educate yourself. Sometimes it's a lack of knowledge that is creating this fear in us and um, it's good to just do your research in general so that you're aware of what you're getting yourself into because there are real risks with certain activities. For example, with surfing and being out in the ocean, there's rip currents, there's dangers of other people in the water hitting you, you know, getting held under longer than you expected. Um, there, there are real risks. And so there's partly a reason why you're having this fear because it's this natural, instinct in us that causes us to analyze if this is going to help us survive or harm us. So doing your research in advance and educating yourself not only gives you the tools you need if you do find yourself in a difficult or sticky situation, but it also gives you confidence in knowing how to do things the right way so that you can have the best time possible and then eventually overcome these fears because you're able to experience more of this experience. So the last kind of last thing uh, that I wanted to say is that um, it's really great if you can try to find a way to reinforce your experience with positivity um, and having fun because uh, it's hard for our minds to focus on fear or worry if we're having a good time. So for me, um, with my learning to try to surf, I started with uh, bodyboarding just in kind of the inside waves. And this gave me some confidence knowing that I could always go in if I needed to or if I was worried or scared. Uh, but it also let me have a really fun time out in the water and actually be able to really enjoy myself and kind of reinforce the reasons why I wanted to learn how to overcome this fear and maybe go further out deep into the water because I ultimately wanted to be able to join my husband out in the, uh, past the breaking waves in the outer surf, giving some confidence with those, like I said, baby steps and just trying to get out in the waves and having a good time made it so much more enjoyable and so much easier for me to want to get out the next time that I tried to do it again. Overcoming our fears is a difficult task and it's not something that you can just do overnight so uh, I understand that there's definitely going to be a lot of processing that has to happen with this, but I hope that some of these ideas that I have and my own experience encourage you to try to take steps to overcome your fears. It won't be easy, but you can do this. It is possible to overcome these fears and you will have so much more joy in life and experiences once you're able to actually do some of these things that you really, really want to do and that you love. I hope you found this video encouraging and inspiring for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel to see more great videos on encouragement or inspiration, especially for mothers or women. Um, I have a lot of great content coming out and I'm so glad you stayed to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching the whole way and I hope these tips inspire you and encourage you to overcome your own fears. If you know of someone who has some very crippling fears, please share this video with them. I think some of these tips could really help them to overcome these fears. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.